How's it going, everyone? I'm A Rods has got three six five, and welcome to part two of Game Dev Tycoon. All right, so it's been about two days since we last off, last left off, and uh, we just released <laughs> Alien Homestead. Um, not quite sure what that was, but uh, let's just get the info on that really quick. Game history, Aliens action game. For the NES or T yeah, sorry. Yeah, it did pretty well. Alright. Not bad. Uh we're going to create another game then. Probably research another topic. Um game dev. So we can go meta. Meta. Yeah. Can't pronounce things very well. Especially with a T. It's very noticeable when I uh uh, check back on a video and then it, it seems like I'm fine and then it is I, I actually watch the video and it's like constant like stuttering and Pronouncing things oddly that type of thing. All right, so we're going to make a game dev simulation game For PC since it thrives on there with <laughs> my name is Jeff um, Game dev meta and then Alright, sounds about right. 35 grand. 2D graphics v2. Alright. Get started on that. Um, simulation doesn't need much story. About right here is fine. So yeah, we'll go with save game. Keep everything how it is pretty much. Now if the market sold 38,479 units generating 269,000 in sales. Not too bad early on. The recently released TES home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expect expectations by far. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES and playing with the keyboard is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Did I say with a keyboard is... <laughs> yeah, whatever. Controller. Um, raise this up, a level designs up a little bit. Dialogue probably go to a quarter, I guess. Pretty much the same with um, action game. More uh, technology focused. Nice, not doing too bad. Need to release that hit game though. Um, probably raise this up, I guess. It says uh, minus one. I usually take that as just like somewhere in the middle. Pretty much. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what um, the different... Well, what it indicates, really. I just kind of wing it, but oh well. So yeah, coming in on along nicely. Going to set some records, I think. Alright. Wait a little bit to uh, catch any po free points that we can get. I mean, I say free, but you have to pay a bunch of rent and everything, and it's not too much usually, but... Alright, that's enough of that. Game dev meta. Yeah, we've set new records. Dialogues to be graphics level up. Nice. Okay, we're going to quickly start this uh, game report. Came in. Nice. Yeah, this is probably going to be the one that um, gets us to that... Uh, New office. Yeah, nine, eight, eight, eight. All right, eight point two five. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's probably gonna sell pretty well. Yeah, not terribly. Yeah, so we're gonna have to release some more games. It's not gonna uh, give us millions or anything, but yeah, it usually takes uh probably like seven games or so um, to actually afford enough to uh move into the next office, but. Alright, I think we'll go, let's see, we just released a simulation, um, probably should research a, uh, good action topic or something like that. I mean, I say that and there's just nothing. I'll go UFO because I usually never do that, I suppose we could try it with something. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. 
Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to more mature groups. All right. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Okay. So yeah, we unlock target audience. So basically, we'll be able to select which ages we're going for. According to our market research, recently released public game, recently published game, Game Dev Meta in the Hood is a surprise hit with players. The developer D's Nuts is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for them for what they will develop next. Can't speak very well today. All right, so 25,000 copies, not bad. And UFO. What would we, uh, what genre would, would UFO benefit in? I'm thinking strategy like, um, XCOM. Um, totally not XCOM. Com. Com. All right, and probably for PC, I guess, would be good strategy. G64 is going to um, uh, actually exit the market soon. It's going to fail. Spoilers. UFO strategy, PC. Yeah, that'll probably be good. Sounds like a good combination. I usually never go strategy. In my years of playing, I probably released like four strategy games uh, through all the different companies. I just stick with simulation or action pretty much or rpg of course those are the uh three genres that i go with um strategy will probably it'll be something like that and then like the uh engine will be here yeah it seems good following the massive success of the tes console there are now rumors circulating that vena Another Japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console on on their own. So that's where Sega enters the picture. Um, guess we're... Well, not early 80s. About mid 80s, I suppose. TES. Well, NES already came out. Guess you could call it the TES. Came out. So that, that was 95. So the game follows that 100% then. Um... Yeah, I think something like a high level design, high intelligence, and then maybe something. Dialogues around there. Sounds sounds about right. Uh, the good thing about it though is if we if this game flops, we have a little bit of money, and then we can make a game report, that type of thing, see what went wrong with it, so improve at it, you know. All right. Um, probably something like this. Well, probably high world design, and then like sound here, and then graphics about here. Yeah, yeah, feeling it. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. All right, 234,000 in sales. Not the best, but we've done worse. All right, yeah. So we've set another record with uh points. Today, Vina has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Alright, so yeah, there you go. In a couple uh, ticks, we'll uh, unlock that. So, yeah, I guess we're not adding any extra points. Okay. So yeah, record design, new topic, new combo. Didn't level anything. Um, generate game research. Game report, rather. And yeah, there we go. That's the one that'll uh, make us bank. Seven, nine, nine, and eight. Okay, yeah, strategy games do work well on PC. Never been a huge fan of strategy games in real life. Just um, kind of like in this game just kind of stick with the uh tried and true games that i've game types that i've already played and know i would like pretty much uh efl and strategy great combination of course game seem graphics seems to not be very important for this type of game i i suppose so yeah and pc strategy great all right that's pretty good so what do we have to research 
we'll definitely do target audience. Usually, I've, I've read a suggestion. Oh, we've already told a pretty decent amount. Uh, read a suggestion every four about every four engine part unlocks is when you should probably make a uh, another engine. But uh, I don't know. I tend to uh, until I make money, plenty of money, where I can just like sit sit around, have enough points, make money, and then just research this. Then I make a new engine. But uh, I feel like uh, in this stage you can, uh, after you actually make the first engine, you should be fine for the garage, the rest of the garage. Um, we will, however, uh, research another. Um, yeah, we'll do sports. Not bad. So yeah, we're on the cusp of half a million. And by that I mean 50,000 more. Alright, so uh, the uh, master system has been released. Probably won't try and get on that. Probably will stick with uh, TES, but... Uh, or should we? Um, sports games on the uh, Master V? Not sure, actually, how that would turn out. Let's try it. Sports simulation. 80 grand, eh? Yeah, we can. My name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah, E. Um, something topical. Yeah. There we go. Okay. 2D graphics again. And 217 granite cells. Didn't sell a huge amount, actually. Um, ch -ch -ch simulation. Well, I know what's good here. High gameplay. Uh, about a quarter or so. So yeah, I've always dealt with it like in um the bars, the sliders, like in dealing it with it like in quarters, you know. Um, I'm not sure how good that actually is as a strategy because um, well, I'm I'm not sure actually, but uh, oh well, it's just how I've been doing it over the years. <coughs> Excuse me. Recently released gaming console Master V by Vena, or Vena, has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. So yeah, released in Japan and that type of thing. Um. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Mm hmm. Kind of blanking out a bit. So yeah. Lower this. Or is this a little bit? All right, thousand fans, about three hundred grand. Oh, this is good, actually. Ah, oh, man, I missed out. Well, I'm not sure if it like after you get the achievement, it does it. But if you name a sports simulation game in the garage, um, Pong, the uh, little um, I'll, I'll show you in a second what I mean. One second, just finish this up. High graphics, high sound. There we go. So yeah, this little you have a little poster right here. You name a sports simulation game uh, Pong, and then these um, paddles will actually start moving. Only did that once, a couple years ago, actually, in real life. But um, pretty pretty nice little detail. Finish that. Didn't do anything. New topic and new combo though. One that's going to be severely overused, sports simulation. Yeah, like I said, I kind of just end up making simulation games. Um, do we want to, uh, well, we'll uh, get the uh, game report started and see how this sells. First reviews. So pretty high, yeah. Eight. From Star Game. Six quirky, but good. Informed Gamer. Seven, their focus on artificial intelligence served this game well. Game Hero and Six, I like it. All games. Not terrible. Not too terrible. The next game we uh, make, I feel, is going to be the uh, one that uh, really breaks in the dough. It's 
Great combination. Level design, quite important. Okay. Um, yeah, already selling pretty well. Uh, that's... Guess I was clicking between the spaces there. <clears throat> so let's see. We released... Sports simulation, of course, right. Um... What do we want? A detective... Adventure game. I guess we'll do Master V again. Uh, yeah, there's there's freaking your topical reference right there. So yeah, there we go. Casual games. That's what I wanted to uh do. All right engine way down um believe it's uh high gameplay max gameplay high story that's fine recent market market studies show that the govador g64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other pc manufacturers so yeah here's it uh in an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsu unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. So yeah, it's going to uh, be taken off the market pretty soon. So yeah, I guess we uh, haven't released our huge hit yet, but um, this last game is probably going to be... Let me just uh, alt tab check really quick how long we've actually been recording here this is awkward yeah 16 minutes okay this will be our last game uh for this episode so adventure game high level design decent amount of dialogues and then low artificial intelligence okay yeah all right so yeah we're floating around there not doing too bad um, not sure if I usually release a hit game by now, or fit several games, or if I'm, like, on track or what, but, um, high world design, um, probably, like, high sound, world design, and then, like, I'll do something like that, I'm sure that's not how it actually is, but whatever, that's what we're going with. Yeah, good design. Plenty of research points saved up. <laughs> OJ did nothing wrong. Off the market. 38,000 units. 271,000 cells. Today, Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. The, the device comes with chaseable, changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Via, I guess. I, I've always pronounced it via. Oh well. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles. Whoops. Yeah, just ignore that. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the gaming is underpowered, but given the low, lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. That it did. The gaming is set to hit shelves next month. Alright. So yeah, that's the uh, Game Boy equivalent, in case you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, great with the young people. Um, it lasts literally like 15 years in the uh, game market, I think. So yeah, I released a ton of games on it, and then it uh, sold pretty, pretty well. Alright, so there we go. 2D Graphics V3 or 3D gra Graphics V1. We're going to grab 3D Graphics V1 because it costs a lot less research points and credits to unlock. Uh, but actually, as you progress, 3D graphics, um, the actual scores, it, it, it gets boosted slightly by that, you know, graphic scores, that type of thing. Um, while some say that, like, uh, if you go 2DS route, I mean, <laughs> 2DS, uh, the 2D route, geez, 2D route, you can, um, put more fe features in, because, like, as you add features later in the game... Um, it'll become less efficient. People won't be able to uh, add them 100% effectively, that type of thing. 
All right, and the uh, gameling has been released. So we're going to uh, end this right here. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and see you next time, part three, which should be relatively soon. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good one.